for the Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. Spitzel hoch und ab geht's. Attacke. Dramatic stop. Das ist doch Auto. So much action. Das ist doch geil. Oder? Absolutely glued together. Three abreast. Das ist ganz hohe Parkour. From the outside and he spins. The Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. The high speed one may cup is back on the grid for the 34th time. The first weeks of the new 2023 season. Right now. The Eiffel Hills. It's mid April. For the first time this year, the drivers are allowed out on the track. The first time in the season. I'm very happy that we have a lot of teams from last year joining us again. We have a new team with us. It's the pre season test at the Nürburgring. Over 30 drivers are on site, all revved up after the long winter break. Here we go again, it's been a long winter. After a year off, I'm going to prove myself once again. Perfect starting position for me to learn this year, I'm really happy. We're off into a thrilling new season with very young drivers. I'm the youngest ever to race so far, 16 years young. Am I up for it? Yes. The class of 2023. I've invested a lot over the winter. I think we'll be good for a surprise or two this year. Pleasure to be back in Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland. This year in a new role as the new Porsche Junior. The Porsche Junior and the many other drivers in the Fast One May Cup are all fired up for the new season. New faces and old acquaintances. New year, new colors for me. Uh, very happy, of course, to join uh, a Dutch team. The Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland now in its 34th season. More than 30 drivers and every one of them wants to be out front. I look at myself and try to do the best I can. And that includes other tasks for the drivers and team managers, photo sessions, media appointments. For me now, it's just uh, it's second nature and I quite enjoy uh, in socializing in front of the camera. Yeah, we prepare with the teams, of course. Photos are taken, the drivers step in front of the camera again, the cars too, of course. Welcome to season 2023. Expectations for the season. The, the main goal is to, to win the overall championship. That's the only thing I can, I can dream of for this season. That's what the others want too. Strong opponents, strong race cars. 2023, eight exciting race weekends and it all starts in Spa. At the opening race on this traditional racetrack, races one and two of what is destined to be a rip-roaring new season. These are the first races out of a total of 16 in Europe. We are racing in Spa, Van Then in June, it's off to the Hockenheim Ring for the Festival of Dreams, the big Porsche anniversary. At the end of June, the Porsche Carrera Cup zips through the dunes of Zandvoort in the Netherlands. In early August, it's off to the Nürburgring. The Lausitz Ring and the Saxon Ring are two more stops on the 2023 calendar. At the end of September, the high-speed Porsches take to the racetrack in Austria. Very close racing at the Red Bull Ring. And then there's the grand finale at Hockenheim at the end of October. 16 gripping races with the season opener in Belgium. Very warm welcome to the first round of the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland here in Spa. Thursday is briefing day. The drivers and their team bosses get the latest scoop on the track conditions. What do you need to watch out for while zooming along the popular 7km circuit in the Ardennes? Where is the best place to overtake? Where can things get tight? Everyone pays very close attention to the race director. Participation is compulsory. This is also an opportunity to get a feel for who you are up against. This is where the class of 2023 meets for lessons in the theoretical. 32 drivers from 12 nations. Drivers from 13 teams, eight of whom belong to the Porsche talent pool. After Thursday's briefing, it's time to put what you learned into practice, starting with the two races in Spa. I wish you all good luck, have a good weekend, and take care of you. Thank you. Thank you.
We've just had our driver briefing. We received a brief explanation on how we should behave on the racetrack. Out on the track, they will all be driving this vehicle. The 510 HP Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. Freshly polished, tuned, and ready to go. The cockpit is also ready for you to get your rear in gear. The race car is based on the 8th generation Porsche 911. The Porsche 992. The vehicle is standardized and the same for everyone. All teams have the opportunity to adjust it perfectly to the driver, which may lead to that decisive edge in the end. Already during the test days at the Nürburgring, the cars were presented in their new look, one more beautiful than the other. 32 of them are now about to start here at Spa. Everyone's eager to get to the traditional racetrack with its legendary sections. Oh, Probably the most renowned racing curve in the world. Big ball. Swiftly around to the right and then to the left. Prochimo. Full throttle through the Ardennes, the Porsche Carrera Cup is back. Welcome to Spa. I personally really like it. I think it really suits my driving style. But apart from me, I think it's a really nice track to begin a championship and it has a lot of heritage and I really enjoy driving. The most important thing is to actually make as few mistakes as possible. If you somehow come out of the corner badly, you immediately have a long straight over the Camel straight and then you immediately lose a lot. Spa is one of the best tracks in the world actually. It's one of my favorites as well. The track is so good because of the high speed corners and the high speed makes it really, really tricky to drive on the limit. To be fast here you really need to, to know what you're doing. The Porsche Carrera Cup with a peek into the crystal ball. Dear Glassball, who's gonna be the next Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland champion? Who will reign as champion in 2023? Let's hear what the drivers think about the new season. Who will be the next champion? Say some numbers. Oh. Who's gonna win? Competitors for this season, mainly for championship, I think Larry will be there, obviously. When one very good driver leaves, two good drivers fill the slots, so I think the competition is greater than ever. We have quite a few very strong teams, one team is new, so we're very happy about that, but I think the competitive level is very high. I think it's a really strong level again. I think we have at least six or seven guys who can fight for the win on every race. Being the Porsche Junior, everybody wants to beat you. Who will be champion? Who will be champion? I think it's gonna be me. Leon Kula. It's gonna be me, Bastian Bruce. Lange de Vorder mit Team Spirit. Number 12, Harry Jones. We'll just have to wait and see who will be crowned the 2023 Porsche Carrera Cup champion at the finale in Hockenheim. Now it's off to the first race of the season here on the infamous and fast Ardennes roller coaster. 32 Porsche 911 GT3 Cup cars boasting a total of more than 16,000 HP. And this is the beautiful sound. Just before we start into season 2023, Spa Frankelshop waits for the man on pole, Harry King. Morris Schering following P2, Alex Tauscher is P3, Larry Tenvorder starts from P4 and Lokartog from P5. Tauscher with a bad start, Tenvorder can pass him and Morris Schering as well. And that means that Larry Tenvorder is up into second place. So with King in front, Tenvorda, Schuring and Hartog behind him, we head to Eau Rouge for the first time of asking and then up to Radion. It looks like everyone has made it through the first sequence of turns okay. Here we are now on the Camel Straight. Three cars absolutely side by side next to each other. This is going to be tricky in Les Combs. Oh, and Levy spins, the driver from Israel, the first one to lose control this year. This is Bastian Boos, the new Porsche Junior from Denmark. Now he's got to make his way through the field because he had a difficult qualifying. He's now P7, but the guys behind him are really putting the pressure on him. He can't really get away. He can't really drive away. It's equal opportunities. It's identical material. It is the guarantee for fair racing at the very highest level in the Porsche Carrera Cup Germany. Let's go on board now with the rookie driver Horst Felix Felbermeier. He's trying to pass Jonas Greif 
on the inside line, but that doesn't work. He spins and also ends the race of S-Man as well. I was second in the Pro-Am class. The field had already sorted itself out a bit. Then unfortunately someone spun a bit right in front of us. He was standing in the middle of the track but was still moving. You couldn't actually tell if he was sliding further to the left or to the right. You had a split second to decide what to do. Do I pass it on the left now or on the right? I tried to go left, but unfortunately I bumped him and in the process also the next car behind me. So yes, the race was over. One of the drivers involved in the accident, unfortunately teammate Ahmed Aushahab also had to swerve. Some car spin and he's closed the, the road and the road is too much short and small. We try to don't crash uh, S-Man because we are too much closer. I take a little bit right because the road is finished. I go on the grass, I touch the wall. The safety car is out. The Taycan Turbo S sorts the field. It's time to take a short breath. And at the restart, Ten Vorder is next to Harry King working on his brake balance. Side by side they go through Eau Rouge. And King stays in front. What a move. Schuring and Hartog had the exclusive view of that. On board with Bastian Boos. He's P6, fighting with Jones, Andronaco, and Kurla. And Kurla is passing the rookie, Andronaco. However, out front, the gang of four with King, Tenforda, Schuring, and Hartog. Now they're fighting really hard, but very fair. Let's go on board with Luke Hartog now. He overtakes Moritz Schuring, who gets into the gravel and effectively then loses two positions. Jana Stiak spins. In the history of the Porsche Carrera Cup, the youngest driver, losing control at 200 kilometers per hour, Radion can bite you on the bottom. A few more places up front, it's Boos versus Schuring, fighting for position four, and the 18-year-old Dutchman is going for a move on the Dane. It's been a hard weekend for him so far. Let's go back to the battle of the rookies. Bastian Boos' teammate Vincent Andronaco against Harry Jones. Andronaco shortcuts Les Combs. Therefore, he will give the position back. Once done, though, he doesn't give up. And he's going to go for it all over again and take his chance. Now, if he makes this stick, he will be the best rookie. However, he will get a penalty after the race. Still a good result for him, and Jones wins the rookie race. However, heading to the checkered flag to win the real race, it's Harry King. Now it's the first victory for an Englishman in the German Cup since 2017. Tenvorder and Schuring are P2 and P3. Yeah, so far it could not have gone much better. Um, our pace was very strong, so uh, yeah, we ended up with a win with a, with a big margin. So yeah, very good. Pleased for Allied Racing as well. Harry King! Congratulations on the first victory in 2023 in the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland. Georgi Donchev takes this one in the Pro-Ams. We had a good race, good start. Let's keep it up, but it's very early to say. It's a very long season, 16 races. You know, everything can go wrong. A quick look at the overall result of the first race in the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland. Harry King ahead of Larry Tenforde with Luke Hartog and Bastian Boos behind him. Retrospection, the end of March in the German capital. We're here in Berlin at our Porsche Carrera Cup talent pool kickoff for the 2023 season, the young talent of tomorrow. Ich bin Alexander Fach. Hoi, mein Name ist Yassin Ferrati. Ich bin Alexander Tauscher. Moin, ich bin Vincent Anonaco. Mein Name ist Felix Felbermeier. Ciao a tutti, mi chiamo Lorenzo Ferrari. Ich bin Theo Uwals. Ich bin Janusz Stierk. And together they make up the new rising stars. I got my start last year in GT Racing. I've mainly been racing karts. Last year was my first season in a car. I became German champion in the Rotax series last year. The young talent attending the workshop in Berlin. We sit here and prepare the young drivers for the upcoming season. We do various training exercises with them. Our fitness check will be in Potsdam tomorrow. Fitness check, I don't know what to expect because I never did one. The young drivers get their checkup at the Academic Sports Center at the University of Potsdam. 
with the ECG on the treadmill and full speed on the bike too. Performance checks designed to test their limits. The most exhausting thing at the end was the running. The increases of two kilometers per hour really take it out of you. You try to do the best you can and of course you reach your limits. Pushing the limits. How fit are the guys at the start of the season? In any case, the mood is good. So far the atmosphere is quite good. I actually know some of the guys from previous years from my karting days. We all get along well. On the one hand, it is of course very professional. Everyone has a lot of experience. On the other hand, there is also a very nice family atmosphere. You feel comfortable. We also check out the race regulations, what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. There's also media training, how to behave in front of the camera. We've done test interviews. Now it's just a matter of supporting the guys over the course of the season, supporting their personality a little and teaching them the sound craft of TV. Then there's mental training. It's making suggestions, providing an idea of what mental training can be and what it can do. In the end, it's about being able to concentrate well on what's important and on the car, like simply driving it, even in difficult situations. My goal is to end up among the top three in the rookie classification. Top five is the target. Goal this year is definitely to win the rookie championship. The young up-and-coming drivers from the Porsche talent pool. Last year, he was one of them. Today, he is the new Porsche Junior and thus one step further in his career, which is still so young and fresh. He's headed to the very top to become a professional race driver. A Porsche works driver, perhaps. It's a big privilege being part of the Porsche Motorsport family, something I've been chasing for the last three years. So uh, to succeed in actually making my own dream come true is somehow a bit unbelievable in some way. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready to, to show what I have. He did exactly that in November in Jerez, Spain, at the shootout of the 12 best young racing drivers. It was a sighting competition in which the best among them were crowned. Bastian Bus, just 19 years old from Denmark, made it and is now the new Porsche Junior. Of course, there is a pressure um, when you become the new Porsche Junior. There is a reason I've been chosen as the lucky one for this status. So. Uh, I do it as I did last year. I always do my best when I'm on track um, and then I'll see where that, that will bring me. Uh, always keep working hard and then, then I'm sure the results will come along with it. Bastian Boos making giant leaps with good performances on the way to the top. One day maybe becoming a works driver, driving the 963 around Spa for example, like the other guys are doing this weekend. So uh, I'm looking a bit up to them, hopefully come one day. A young racing driver with a bright future. Bastian Bus, a name we'll be hearing a lot more of in the future. One of those racing at Spa in the FIA WEC World Endurance Championship is Frenchman Kevin Estre. He is starting there in the hypercar class in the Porsche 963. We, find the top class in the we race in the top class world championship in endurance. There's nothing better you can do in endurance racing. That alone brings you a good feeling as a driver, the feeling that you've already achieved something. No matter the result in the end, just being a part of it is really good. Ten years ago, he was also on the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland launch pad and successful. That was a really cool time back then in the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland and in the Super Cup. In 2013, I became champion in the Carrera Cup. The Porsche Penske Motorsport Factory team fields two LMDH prototypes in the hypercar class in the FIA WEC. Maximum drive power, over 700 HP. The Porsche managing director drops by enthusiastically and then keeps his fingers crossed for the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland. We have eight great race weekends again. We have 16 races. We have a fully booked grid, so there will always be more than 30 cars on the grid. That's really fantastic. And of course, we also have a special highlight now at the first race weekend here in Spa, Franker Champs. Of course, there's also always an emotional element when cooperating with the WEC. This is a particularly traditional racetrack here in the Ardennes. There are a few sections that are world famous, like the legendary Eau Rouge. That is, of course, something that makes the heart of all motorsport fans beat faster. So, the conditions are excellent for exciting races. 
and exciting it was for the numerous spectators at Spa on Saturday awaiting race number two at the start on rain tires. Up front are Larry Tenforte and Luke Hartog. We are ready for racing here at Spa. Slippery conditions will make it difficult for the drivers. Larry Tenforte with a reasonable start. But Luke Hartog with an even better one, as you can see. He's going to try and go around the outside for P1. If he can make this stick, this means that Luke Hartog will take the lead of the race. Bastian Boos is gaining some positions right at the start of the race. He's already up to P7. Now, this is yesterday's race winner, Harry King. And he's in a real fight here with Harry Jones. So as they head down, before heading up again, you need nerves of steel in the Carrera Cup. Wow, King almost loses the car and leans on Jones. Both make it, Jones P3. That was so exciting. Let's see it again from some different angles. Loke Hartog now has built a gap. Ten Porter is P2 and behind them the fight is still on. Schuring has the perfect view and is looking to overtake Jones who goes wide and that allows Schuring to slip through. Leon Curler and Bastian Boos are right behind Jones. And now Boos is going to go for P6. Leon Curler on the outside. Curler, who is back in the Carrera Cup after a one-year break, has to let Boos pass. The Porsche Junior Boos has a lot of pressure on him. Again, the bad qualifying forces him to take some risks today. And now he goes for Jones, the 19-year-old Dane, doing absolutely everything he can. Theo Uverhaus, an absolute newcomer, is attacking Curler. They go side by side and Uverhaus takes Curler's position. Well done in the wet. Now Jones is laying in wait and Uverhaus is not taking any prisoners. He overtakes Jones in the bus stop chicane. It's another one ticked off the list. The only focus was just to keep moving forward. I noticed the pace was great and it was much fun. The drivers here are so incredibly strong. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Teo Uverhaus is on fire. Bastian Boos is next in his target sights. And it looks like Teo is going to be able to make it. Yes, he can. In the wet, he shows his incredible skill. Boos seems to be absolutely powerless to defend against that move. Brilliant driving in the Carrera Cup, Germany. Theo was quick, um, he was doing a bit of different lines compared to, to everybody else, so I won on my experience in the end. He, he was quicker, he deserved a bit more maybe, but uh, in the end he finished P5, so I'm yeah, happy about it. Like yesterday, the safety car does have to make an appearance and Jonas Greif tells us why. It was really a very good race up until the point where the accidents occurred. There were two accidents two laps before, one with Lukas Ertel and another with the Ferrari. In summation, I think both caused so much damage to my car that I lost the rear when braking. I had no chance. The restart, with only one lap to go. Lok Hartog won't be happy in his car. However, he stays in front and is on his way to his first win in the Porsche Carrera Cup. Larry Tenforta, meantime, goes way outside and finds himself next to Schuring. But the former racing student stays behind him. Uverhaus behind Boos, P6. King is P4. Schuring is still P3. It's going to be a tough last lap for everyone. Schuring is putting Tenforta under real pressure. And he is through. But Larry Tenforta here is going to fight back. Harry King, though, he wants to make this a three-way fight, and he's about to join the battle as well. Harry King is coming, he's going for it, but he doesn't make it. It was uh, definitely a, a challenge, I think, for all of us to adjust ourselves to the new conditions, but um, just towards the end we lost a little bit of pace, um, and then they managed to get past. But um, P4 and a win, especially yesterday, certainly a highlight my debut weekend in Porsche Cup Cup Deutschland. So, yeah, all in all, it's been a positive weekend. Three Dutch drivers in front, followed by King, Boos and rookie Uverhaus. And Loke Hartog takes a well-deserved win. First win in Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland for me. Uh, it was very emotional. I've uh, done so much to get this victory and now finally have it. Uh, it's just a big pressure relief for the rest of the season. Luke Hartog secures the early lead in the fresh new season. Teammate Larry Tenforte finishes second in the second race at Spa-Francorchamps.
Naturally, it's always great for the team to finish P1 and P2. It was important. The guys worked very hard and were very diligent over the winter. It's of course really cool when you can give them something in return with results like this. What more could you ask for? I was really happy because I knew the pace was really good. The whole race I was stuck behind Harry and when I finally overtook him I knew I had the pace. The result, I'm quite happy with it. The first podium with Fach Autotech is always a good feeling. In the Pro-Ams, Georgi Donchev races to victory again. He took the checkered flag ahead of Ahmad al Shihab and Soren Sprang. The first three rookies at the finish are Theo Overhaus, Harry Jones and Vincent Andronaco. There are so many impressions you take in which you simply then store subconsciously and which you can retrieve the next time. It's difficult to summarize in a nutshell, but we now won good points also in the rookie classification, points for second and third. A look at the early championship standings shows Luke Hartog in first place, with Larry Tenforte and Harry King close behind. An exciting first race weekend in the Porsche Carrera Cup is now in the books. Racing resumes very soon at Hockenheim at the Festival of Dreams, the big Porsche anniversary race. Sure to be a memorable experience for the whole family. Racing thrills and historic vehicles as it all continues in races three and four in the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland.